Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another RenderMan tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the workflow to go from Substance Painter into Maya and RenderMan. Uh, this would obviously work the same for Blender. Uh, it's just going to be where to hook it up in terms of your texture outputs into a Pixar Surface node. So I'm going to go to File and New. And we're going to select our mesh. I've got the substance guy who I've turned into an FBX for the reason of showing you how to do UDIMs if you want to do UDIMs as well. Uh, if you're just using standard UV maps, that's also fine. So uh, if you are just using a regular UV, you can deselect this button here. Otherwise, keep this selected and make sure you keep the first option selected as well. I'm going to turn off auto unwrap because this is already UV'd and I'm going to click OK. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. So we've got our mesh here. It is made of three separate UDIM tiles, as you can see there, and you can see it in the layout uh, there as well. So I'll quickly uh, just texture this fella up. Okay, so you'll see that he has got a um, variety of materials there. We've just got a slightly different one on the bottom here, so we can see the difference in roughness, and we've also got some normal bump mapping occurring as well. So I'm going to export this fella here. Uh, we don't need to export the geometry. I'm going to use this existing geometry because I have not made any changes to the UVs. So we're just going to go to File. We're going to go to Export Textures. And we've got some templates already for us that we can use. So we can go on to RenderMan, Pixar Surface, and we're not going to be using Llama in this tutorial. I'll do a separate tutorial on that. And we can deselect the uh, outputs that we're not using. So that is going to be displacement because we've got none. Presence, glow can go away as well. Um, and those four are all we need in this case. So diffuse color, face color, normals, and roughness. And these are all you dim. They've already got the tag there at the end. So you will see the exports there will have the list and the UDIM uh, number association there. So 1002, 1001, 1011, etc. I'm also going to ex uh, export this as a PNG. Um, it <laughs> to, unless something's changed, Substance does not export images in linear in linear color space, uh, which strangely. So uh, they're going to be exported in sRGB regardless of what format I do. I could export them at a higher bit depth if I wanted to. I could go to EXR and that would override that. That's fine. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep them at PNG and I'll show you how to linearize them when we import them into my. Um, so the only other thing I want to put in is the output directory. So I've just set that to my Maya project and I'll select that. And then after I'm done there, I will hit export. Okay, all the maps are out. Let's jump into Maya and import them. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is import my model. I'm just gonna drag it out of the, uh, Windows Explorer and drop it into Maya like so, and we'll get him there. And he's not in the center of the scene. Um, obviously I was editing him off the world center. I'll also just reiterate, we do have the UVs here, so I'm going to split the layout and I'm going to go to panels, panel and UV editor. And you can see with him selected, we've got all those UDIMs available to us. So I'll also drop some lights into the scene and I'm just going to do that with the three point light setup that RenderMan provides. And we will select our character and we will create a Pixar surface shader by selecting him and selecting the Pixar surf bun surface button on the shelf there. Now we're ready to start getting our textures in. So we're going to go into the Hypershade Editor. We're going to select our Pixar service and we'll run it out like so. And we're going to need three texture nodes and a normal map node. So we're going to type in PXR Texture. And we're going to run the result RGB into the diffuse color. Actually, I can just select this and hit Control D and Control D again. And that'll just make that a little bit quicker. We can go in here and we will open up our uh, texture. So the first one that we want is our diffuse color. And any one of these will do, in fact, because it is going to associate the correct UDIM uh, with the uh, object anyway. So you'll see when you open up something with a UDIM now in RenderMan 24, what it does is it creates a tag, uh, which is a angle bracket UDIM. Uh, so in place of where it had the number for the UDIM plane that the that that part of the UV took up, 
it will just put the udim tag. So if you need to do that manually, uh, you would just need to type in udim in place of 1001, 1002, 1011. So we're going to do the same thing here for, I'm just selecting these and hitting uh, two on the keyboard to expand those out. I want the RGB out into the specular face color and we're going to open that specular face color, which is this one here, open that and we're going to run the um, RGBR out from this and the reason I'm doing the RGBR for specular roughness is that the map is only black and white so the RG and B channel are all the same so specular roughness and again just reiterating that UDIM tag there so it doesn't matter which one I grab in this case they're all associated with the same model they're just on different UV uh, UDIM sets um, and then finally we want the normal map so we're just going to hit PXR normal map bring that in there and we're going to run the result n into the bump normal and again we will open the map and the same thing works for this in terms of not in terms of udims it will still uh, find the correct map so with that there like so we can run an ipr and you'll see we get our character though there are a couple things wrong with them uh, so if we just quickly hop back here into substance you'll know that notice that the red is much redder and uh, the blue is much bluer and here we've got this kind of off green color and it's kind of red but it's not quite there so we need to make some adjustments the reason for this is because the images need to be linearized that have color and the ones that have color are all the ones that we're using the complete rgb output in terms of this one here that does not have color it does not need to be linearized so select the texture node go to linearize in the properties and enable it so for both the spec face and the spec and the diffuse color and finally the normal maps come out of substance inverted so we just need to invert that bump map as well and that will correct that and now you can see that we've got that correct blue color and our reds so we could probably bump up that key light a little bit so why don't we do that all right and as you can see we have got our normal map and it's functioning correctly all these red parts should be speckled bumping outward and i'll also just change that camera angle so we can see that specularity on the platform there uh, having the roughness being affected as well so you can see there that is occurring so obviously in terms of your other maps that you may be using uh, thickness if you've got subsurface scattering you would use that map the rgbr output of it because it should be grayscale that could run into the input for your subsurface scattering um, depth and uh, emission would be another one as well otherwise that essentially covers the main maps that you'll be using coming out of substance into render man and that should sort your colors out so they work correctly under render as well hopefully that sorts all you guys out out there that have been asking for this tutorial for probably years at this point but i've just neglected it for a long time here it is enjoy that's it for this tutorial if you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out cg and illustration tutorials every week just like this one become a patron and access tutorial assets bonus content a private discord and more by clicking the link below